We are live here with the 51st annual Chesapeake Lions Club Invitational held at Chesapeake High School. Uh, we have many local competing teams here, such as Chesapeake, Colgrove, Fairland, Gallia Academy, Green, Huntington High, Ironton, Huntington St. Joe, Raceland, Rock Hill, South Point, Spring Valley, Tulsa, and Wayne High School. We are underway at uh, Phil Davis Field and Dave Smith and Bob Harris Track. Chesapeake High School, Lions Club Invitational. It's been a staple of the local community here. They're always putting out great times and great distances. Right now we've got some great weather. Hopefully it stays like it is, about 60 degrees, a little bit of a breeze. We have the girls four by 800 meter relay now underway. In lane one, we have Rock Hill. Lane two, Fairland. Lane three, Wayne. Lane 4, Gallia Academy. Lane 5, Spring Valley. And Lane 6, Colgrove. The fastest entrant in this, result, in this event is Wayne with an 11.15 seed time. A double A team out of West Virginia, just across the river here. So they're underway in the girls 4x800 meter relay at the Lions Club Invitational. Your early leader here in the girls 4x8 is Colgrove. They are followed by Wayne, Fairland and Gallia battling in third and fourth. Wayne has taken the lead. Gallia Academy into second. Fairland holding strong in third. Colgrove and Spring Valley creeping up on them as they move through the exchange zone here. Wayne does have the top seed time and they look to be uh, far and away the winner right now. Anything can happen. However, Wayne is pulling away and the girls 4 by 800 meter relay here as we are underway with the running events. We'll have the boys up next.
girls 4 by 800 meter race is now heating up as Gallia starting to move up on Wayne. Moving up on the back stretch for Gallia Academy. That is going to be Sarah Watts. She's got some older siblings that have been successful at track. Her brother Matt ran uh, at OU cross country there. Her, brother, her sister runs for Hillsdale. She was a state placer many a times for Gallia Academy. Gallia Academy has a pretty strong girls distance tradition. All the way back to Sarah Wiseman and the Adkins sisters. They also had some good four by fours. Gallia Academy holding strong here. Can they move up? Wayne holding on. Moving into the home stretch. And here she comes. Watts moving up on the inside. They're giving her the inside. Here we go. Wayne holding strong still. It's not over till it's over. And looks like Wayne will hold on to win the girls four by eight. Gallia Academy did not make it easy for him though. It turned out to be a really good race there. Gallia Academy getting second. We got Farallon coming up in third here, coming down the home stretch. They're followed by Spring Valley and Colgrove. Colgrove was your early leader. They've now seen a little bit of both of the spectrum here as they've fallen back. Looks like Rock Hill is starting to come around the final turn here as well. We got Fairland in third, Spring Valley in fourth. Cole Grove will be fifth. And now coming into the home stretch is Rock Hill. She's got a pretty good little kick here. Putting it down. Moving in fast for the Red Women there. Our next event on the track is the boys 4x800 meter relay. In lane one, we have Spring Valley. Lane two, we have the home team, Chesapeake. Beside them, we'll have Dawson Bryant. And then we'll have another team from Chesapeake in the 4x8, so Chesapeake A and Chesapeake B. Moving into 3A, we will have Rock Hill. 3B, we have Ironton. 4A, Huntington High. 4B, Gallia Academy, 5A, Raceland, 5B, South Point, and in lane six, we have Fairland. This is your boys, four by 800 meter relay. They're up here on the track, about ready to get underway. The gun is up. And the boys, four by 800 meter is off and running. Our next event on the track will be the girls 100 meter hurdles. Your 100 meter hurdles uh, record holder here is Jordan Aldridge, 15 flat. She ran that in 2010. Jordan ran for Fairland High School. So that'll be the record they're aiming for in the girls 100 meter hurdles there. The boys four by eight record, which is on the track is 832. That was set way back in 1987 by the relay team from Fairland. The boys often moving here. Huntington High appears to be our early leader as they come across the break line, followed by Rock Hill, Fairland up in third, Spring Valley, Raceland, and they got a whole pack there behind them. So Huntington High takes the early lead, being challenged by Rock Hill and Fairland. Rock Hill and Fairland have uh, been traditional distance powers, I would say, over the last five years or so in Southern Ohio and the OVC. Ironton's had some pretty good boys, four by 800 meters. Ran a 8-11 a few years back when they had some good guys on the team. Impressive state meet they had there with guys like Gary Monroe and Pierce Reeves. It was a fun 4 by 8 there. So Fairland has now shot into the lead there. It's Ethan LaFon has taken the lead. He's just ran about 137 for the 600 split there. So he's looking to run pretty well, but Rock Hill moving up here around the turn. Not gonna make it easy for him. Trying to stretch that lead out there. 
It looks like Ethan's got a little bit more as he comes down the home stretch. Let's see how the exchange goes here. So here comes the exchange up for Fairland in first. Uh, the 208 there and 209 for Rock Hill. Heinz and High coming across about 213 for that first split. Cole Grove's going to run us to 217, Raceland 218. They're coming through here, so we're on the second leg. As we head onto the back stretch, looks like Fairland and Rock Hill battling again. It's probably something you'll hear a lot in these distance races. As I said, both are Southern Ohio uh, powerhouses. Also other parts in the region they've raced over in Boyd County, Cabell Midland. So both of those teams have been around the area, seen some great competition. Both have been up at Pickerington. Columbus at the state meet most years as well. Both teams put out some fine distance runners, many of which are uh, actually at Shawnee State University right now. Seth Miller and Connor Flynn. Chad McComb is down there as well at Shawnee State. Some girls on the other side. So boys and girls, both those teams getting it done. Rock Hills taking over here, stretching out their lead on Fairland. Huntington High is holding in third, but Raceland's starting to move up. So on the second leg here, the Lions Club, four by eight. So if you're not familiar with track and field and the four by 800 meter relay, four by 800 meter relay, uh, four relay legs, which make up the team. Uh, and each leg runs 800 meters. They'll hand off in the exchange zone, the arrows that you'll see down there on the track. And they have to hand it off in those arrows, the, the blue to blue zone there. If not, they'll be disqualified. Uh, a lot of different relays will happen here tonight. Uh, the exchange zones, uh, different colors mean different things. But generally an exchange zone is going to be yellow to yellow or blue to blue, depending on which relay we're in. So we have a lot of relays tonight. Relays are always fun. It's a team environment. Everyone likes to close it up with the 4x4. Four four. It's uh, probably the most exciting thing in Friday Night Lights you'll see in the spring. A lot of relays make it fun here as we go into the third leg. Rock Hill handing off at 425 there. So they're averaging about 212 per leg. It's pretty solid. Fairland handing off at 430. So averaging 215s there. Hurdle crew, please meet Coach Cheek at the 50-yard line. That's where the big C is. Hurdle crew, 50-yard line. Second call, girls 100 meter hurdles. First call, boys 110 meter hurdles. Rock Hill, third leg here. They've really widened the gap on Fairland. Rock Hill looking nice and smooth here as they're moving along. That is Ethan Miller, according to our sheet. Really looking good and smooth there. So once again, still Fairland in second, Huntington High in third. Raceland in fourth. Spring Valley moving up on Raceland, though. About to overtake him for fourth here. Spring Valley taking over that spot. It's a pretty good battle. Back here for fourth, one, two, and three are pretty well out there. Rock Hill is uh, actually starting to move up and almost lap a team. Might be a difficult task for them to do. So they have a commanding lead. Huntington High is actually starting to move up on Fairland as well. So these first three, we've had some shuffling. Huntington High to Fairland to Rock Hill to Rock Hill, you know, taking over. Now we got Fairland in second, but Huntington High is moving up to challenge. And a unique thing you'll notice about the Lions Club meet is that not only are all these schools from around the area, they're all different sized teams. Huntington High is a large AAA powerhouse in West Virginia. And you got schools like Fairland, middle of the road, they're a D2, or if you're in West Virginia, they'd be a AA. So you've got schools like Spring Valley, which are large, small schools that are A, like green, 
And also Chesapeake is be a D3 school in track. Ironton's on the D2, D3 fence. And you got teams like Tulsa and Wayne out there as well. So a lot of different sizes, uh, small school, big school. Pretty good mix that we have here. As we are moving into our final leg, about to wrap up this boys four by 800 meter relay. And unless anything really crazy happens, it looks like Rock Hill's gonna be our winner. Rock Hill, as I said, lapping. Teams on the track here as they're moving around. They're really showing their distance power there. Huntington High moving to second. Fairland still works, working pretty hard here to keep up. It's a pretty honest race. I wouldn't say the race for second is over. You'll notice that a lot of people have just a little bit left that last 200 or 150 in the four by eight. And if they're really good, you'll see that they start pulling about 300, just depending on their background there and what they can really do. So Rock Hill moving in here the last 200 meters. They're not going to get the meet record set in 1987. It'll stand for another year. It was set by one of those outstanding relays that Coach Whitley used to have at Fairland back in 1987. Some of you watching this might remember those days. Might have been on that relay. So the record is safe. Looks like the win is safe for Rock Hill. They're coming into the home stretch here. And they're going to finish about 8.55 unofficially, Rock Hill will take the win. 8.55 unofficially. And Huntington High gets second, running 9.08. Fairland in third here. Raceland had a great anchor leg. Raceland's anchor leg moving up great. 9.23 there for Fairland. Raceland made up a lot of ground pulling away. 9.28. And Spring Valley at 9.30 almost on the nose. So our 4 by 8 we saw a lot of shuffling around. Saw some good legs. Definitely saw some people out there that might be mad at their coaches for making them do the 800, but they got to do it for the team. Definitely being team players out there. The 4 by 8 like I said, like all these relays. Always a team effort. There's always somebody that doesn't think they can do distance or somebody that doesn't think they can sprint, but they have to do it for the team. So our next event we have is the girls' 100-meter hurdles. Once again, that record is 15 flat, set by Joel Nardge and Fairland in 2010. After that will be the boys' 110 hurdles. The officials look to be ready to move them out as soon as these people finish up the 4 by 8 We'll get their hurdles going. Our first heat of the girls' 100-meter hurdles is underway here. We have Tessa Skinner of Gallia and Trinity Eggers of Gallia. They are in this first of three sections of the girls' 100-meter hurdles. After this, we'll have section 2. We'll have six girls in section 2 of the girls' 100-meter hurdles. Section two here in lane one, we have Ashley Music of Worthington, Zoe Lewis of Spring Valley, Sierra Brown from Fairland, Kia Booth of Fairland, Laura and Little John of Rock Hill, and Sydney Painter of Spring Valley. It's gonna be your girls section two, 100 meter hurdles. It looks like your winner is gonna be Sierra Brown from Fairland. She'll take section two of the girls 100 meter hurdles. In our third and final section of the girls' 100-meter hurdles, lane one, we have Lexi Wise of Ironton, Sarah Cecil of Colgrove, Laura Lee Griffiths of Ironton, Rihanna Bradshaw of Huntington, Lucy Weir of Huntington, and Tori Ratliff of Green. These girls make up your third and final section, and they are off here.
And Bradshaw appears to be your winner from Huntington High of the girls. 100 meter hurdles third section there. We'll have to wait for official time to see who won overall out of the three heats. Bradshaw from Huntington High takes your third section of the girls 100 meter hurdles. Hurdle crew is now out there assembling, scrambling to set up for the boys 110 meter hurdles, in which we have three sections of those as well. So three sections as well, the boys 110 meter hurdles. And the hurdles will rise all the way up. The boys will be next on the track. So earlier I stated that there was a difference in race distance by about 10 meters. And there's also a little difference in height. The boys' hurdles go all the way up to the top. That's why it's called the high hurdles. It's going to be three notches up. So raise it up a little and make it a little bit longer, and that's what the boys will race here. If you're new to track and field, tuning in for us. Here watching the Lions Club Invitational at Chesapeake High School. Here at Phil Davis Field, and Dave Smith and Bob Harris track. The 51st Annual Lions Club Invitational. Pretty nice weather still, a little overcast, about 61 to 58 degrees, depending on which weather app you're checking there. So good so far with the weather. Calling for one to three inches of snow this weekend, and about four inches in some parts. So far, so good. Couldn't ask for much better weather here at the Lions Club Invitational. As we have seen it snow here before and cancel the meet, even though it is April, it can still snow. The officials are checking it out. We're about to get underway here in section one of the boys. 110 meter hurdles. Looks to be a pretty decent field here that we have. The meet record for the boys, 110 meter hurdles. There's a tie. 14-4, Craig Bird of Fairland in 85, and Keys of Winfield ran that in 2003. So once again, another Fairland record from way back in the record books. Still here and valid at the Lions Club Invitational. 110 hurdles in lane one, we have Logan Roseberry of Tulsa, Chase Watts of Fairland, Gabe Yeaman, Spring Valley, Kyle McKenzie from Raceland, Will Meadows of Huntington High, and Andrew Carnes of Huntington St. Joe. They make up section one of your boys, 110 meter hurdles. And we have the gun up. And they're off here. Looks to be Watts from Fairland. Moving up into the lead the here. Results of the boys four by 800 meter relay. And he'll take Jessica section one. Place, Watts of Fairland taking section Sixth one of the boys, 110 hurdles. Place, we have section two here setting up their blocks. Section two, we'll have Troy Otworth of Green in lane one, Ian Hill of Gallia in lane two, Justin Hicks of Colgrove in lane three, Greg Keeney in lane four from Fairland, Noah Roberts in lane five. He's from Rock Hill. And from Raceland in lane six, we have Will Nichols. This is section two on the track, ready to get underway here. Once again, our record is 14-4. 14-4 the record here. We do have an entry of 15-1 from Huntington High. He's in the next section, it's Des Bradshaw. Des Bradshaw entered at 15-1. Maybe he can give this a record a run here if he can get out of the blocks pretty good. We'll see what he has for us in this next section, section three. You heard me previously reference some of these Fairland teams from the 80s. Uh, if you look down here at our starter, that is Mike Whitley. He was the coach of Fairland. Some of those great teams back then, they went in on to administration. He's a middle school principal. It's been around the sport a long time. Good to see Mike out there still doing his thing in control. Some of those great athletes back then were coached by Coach Whitley out there. He's our starter. So he can verify those marks for us. I'm sure he'll tell us that they are, in fact, correct. So the gun is up here. Section two. And we're away clean. No false starts here.
And another Fairland hurdler, Greg Keeney in the lead there. Looks like Greg Keeney is going to take the second section. Struggled a little on that last hurdle. Creeps up on people. But Greg appears to be our winner in section two first there. Boy shot put first. So section three participants. It's going to be Ezra Blaine of Gallia Academy. Jed Whitworth, Colgrove. Des Bradshaw, as I said, the fastest entered runner at 15-1 of Huntington High. Zach Huffman from Green. Dalton Nida with the home team in Chesapeake High School. And in lane six is Gabe Kidd from Rock Hill. They make up our third and final section of the boys' 110 meter hurdles. And they're off clean. No false starts here in the third section. Brian or Br Bradshaw is pulling away. We'll have to get his official time once he finishes. Bradshaw with ease will win this section. I think it's safe to say that he's won the whole invitational. Very smooth there. Great hurdle for him. I'm sure he's going to be a tear to mess with for AAA schools in the Huntington come championship time at Laidley Field. Uh, he looked really strong there. That was pretty impressive. I don't think you have to know track and field to know that that looked good. The uh, meet record for the girls, 100 meter, is held by Mandy Boykin from Ironton, 2006. She ran 12.2. Mandy Boykin, Ohio High School State Champion D2 in 2007. She wanted to run track for Cincinnati and then play some basketball for Georgetown College down there in the Mid-South. Mandy had an outstanding career. She's uh, definitely one of the, the greatest runners in Lawrence County history, Southern Ohio, Ironton High School history. She was uh, something to watch. I want to say that Mandy is now uh, in med school, if I'm not mistaken. So she clearly got it done uh, on the track and uh, in the classroom. Mandy Boykin, 12-2 with the record, former state champion for the Fighting Tigers down there. Yes, they're also good at other things that aren't football or basketball. So our girls getting settled in here for this first heat of the 100 meters, our first of five. So we have three contestants here in the first heat. We're going to have Sarah Roach in lane two of South Point, Destiny Kirk, lane three of Wayne, and Jade Stewart in lane four from Huntington St. Joe. All three are entered at no time, meaning they've yet to compete in it this season. So it'll be interesting to see what these girls run their first time out here. They got a little bit of a tailwind behind them. Pretty decent weather. We'll see what we get out of it. Section one, about to get underway. And we're out. We had another addition here that we didn't have on the heat sheet. Your winner is going to be from St. Joe. Your winner from St. Joe in section one there. Section two up on the track now. Lane one, you're going to have Cassie Mathis of Spring Valley. Lane two, Reagan Massey of Rock Hill. Lane three, Savannah Cassie of Ironton. Lane four, Bethany Mills from Raceland. Lane five, Haley Frazier of Colgrove. And in lane six, Samantha Sparks of Spring Valley. They'll make up the second section of the girls' 100 meter. As they're starting to settle into the blocks here. And the gun is up for section two, the girls' 100 meter. And they're off. It's going to meet record 12 2, set by Mandy Boykin. And it looks like we have a battle here, kind of close. Who's going to be at the line? And that will be Savannah Cassidy of Ironton taking section two of the girls, 100. Section three on the track, getting ready. Section three will be underway soon. Section three here, we have Haley Harris of Dawson Bryan in lane one. Marissa Boza of Green in lane two. Natalie Hegermeyer of Chesapeake in lane three. Carson Bailey in lane four of Fairland. Kalista Barnes of Gallia in lane five. And Emily Johnson of Chesapeake in lane six. And they are moving down the track here. It's a little close to call, hard to see from our perspective, but it looked like it was Haley Harris in lane one of Colgrove taking that section. We'll have to check the tape and get the official mark on it. 
It looked like Harris and Cole Grove is your winner of lane out of lane one in section three. Section four now up, readying on the track. Lane one for section four. We have Braylon Baldridge of Green, Aaliyah Jackson of Huntington, lane two, Amison Hospital, Third Rock Hill, call, boys, lane three, meter dash. Kylie Third Riggs of call, South boys, Point, lane four, dash. Malia Tubbs, lane five from Fairland, and Tori Church in lane six of Gallia. Those girls will make up section four. And we're underway here. No false starts. No pulls, and we're moving right along here. And I think it's going to be Jackson of Huntington High or Tubbs of Fairland. They took it to the line. One final section, our fastest seed time entered here is Latia Jackson of Huntington High with a 13.41. She's our fastest entry here. She'll be in lane three in section five. Lane one, we'll have McKinney, McKenzie Reynolds of Wayne. Kylie Polly of Ironton in lane two. Jackson, as I already mentioned, in three. Kayla Herbert from Spring Valley in four. Jordan Hatton in lane five from Spring Valley. And Caitlin Quillen in lane six from Raceland. They'll make up our final heat of the girls' hundred. And they're off here. Jackson is in the lead. Looks like she's not going to be challenged, and she will take the final section with ease here. Jackson of Huntington High taking your final you section. Our first section of boys will be Walker Clay from South Point in lane two, Jimmy Berry from Tulsa in lane three, Isaac Bias from Huntington St. Joe in lane four, Josh Rigney will be in lane five. He is from South Point. Those boys will make up our first heat here, the boys' hundred. And our winner for section one will be from Huntington St. Joe. I believe that's Isaac Bias there from Huntington St. Joe, it appears. He's going to take section one. Section two, get into the blocks here. Lane one will be James Watts from Tulsa. Lane two, Kate Cooper from Spring Valley. Lane three will be Ty Hutchison of Chesapeake. Lane four, Michael Bartram of Wayne. Lane five is going to be Carson Knight of Chesapeake. And running out the field in section two will be Gage Sampson from Green. Our boys, 100 meter dash record is held by Robbie Isaacs of Chesapeake. He ran 10-8 in 1999. Robbie Isaacs, a lot of you Chesapeake fans, I'm sure are familiar with that name from track and football. So Robbie Isaacs, Chesapeake's own, still has the record here in 10-8. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that Robbie made that look pretty easy when he ran that 10-8. It's gonna be my guess. Our fastest entry for the 100 is 11 flat. The competitor entered 11 flat in the 100. So that'll give 10, that'll give 10 8 a run if that is indeed correct. And we're off here. Section 2. Off and running. Pun intended. And it looks like Hutchison. Ty Hutchison of Chesapeake. Here's to take section two there. I mean, if you're watching at home and it looks a little different and the results don't match, uh, our viewpoint here is a little bit different than down there at the line. So if we are incorrect on a few of those, we do apologize. It's a little different viewpoint there and unofficial results have yet to come up for us. But we will match those when we get those passed along and certified and scored. We'll pass along all the certified events there. At this time, I believe we do have the girls and boys 4x800 relay um, official results in. We know that Wayne won for the girls and Rock Hill won for the boys. Let's see if we can get you an official time on that there for the girls relay since they went first. 
And in sixth place, we had Rock Hill. Fifth place, we had Colgrove. Fourth place, we had Spring Valley. Third was Fairland. Second was Gallia. And Wayne won the girls 4x8 in 11.03.98. 11.03.98 was your winning time for the girls from Wayne. And in the boys 4x8. We know that Chesapeake was the winner. And let's get you an official time for the boys there. Eighth place was Chesapeake. Seventh place was Colgrove. Sixth place was Ironton. Fifth was Spring Valley. Fourth was Raceland. Third was Fairland. Second was Huntington High. And Rock Hill won with ease at 855.21 in your boys 4x8. So those are our score running events up to this point. Once we get the hurdle races and the girls 100 certified, we'll get those passed along to you. Right now we have our third section getting ready down on the track for the boys 100. In lane one, we have Ethan Bowens of Wayne, Parker Nip of Rock Hill, Ryan Devonsky of Gallia, John Higgins of Ironton is in lane four, James Nip from Rock Hill is in lane five, and Alex Smith from Green in lane six. So we have Two nips from Rock Hill here. They are in different lanes, same section. Down there for Rock Hill on the track, making up a third of this heat. And our starter, Mr. Mike Whitley, has them ready down there in the blocks. The gun is up, and they are off. Here we go, section three. Looks like our early leader is Smith from Green here. Smith from Green from the outside lane. He was a no time. I want to say he got passed up the line there um, by Devonsky from Galley Academy. It did appear that Devonsky from Galley Academy did catch Smith from Green there at the line to take section three. The no time being thrown in the outside lane, though, that's a pretty impressive run there by Alex Smith from Green. Green's been growing their program over the last couple of years. Right there in Franklin Furnace, right off 52. It is possible that if you blink going by Green that you might miss it on 52, assuming that you aren't caught in Hanging Rock for speeding. That's how you make it through that there. Franklin Furnace Green expanding their team. So let's meet section four here. In lane one from Spring Valley, we have Tyson Hall. And in lane two, Drew Bailey of Raceland. In three, we have Casey Wilder from Spring Valley. Four, Corey Call from Gallia Academy. In lane five, Wyatt Boggs of Colgrove. And in lane six, Austin Storms, also of Colgrove. They make up section four. So we're about to get underway here. And you'll also notice that some of these names will come up in other events. A lot of people doing multiple events here, trying to get some team points. So if you hear some of these names, it's not because I have the wrong sheet. It's because they are, in fact, and entered in multiple events, up to four. The maximum amount of events you can do is four in high school track and field. I'm sure that they are loaded up for this invitational, as a lot of schools are on spring break, and the kids are feeling fresh and energized. As we're underway here, oh, we have a false start. We have a false start here. Someone tried to get a head start. We'll see uh, what Mr. Whitley's discretion is here. And then we will try to redo this fourth section as it does appear that it is Wilder from Spring Valley charged with that false start. So he is disqualified. So that was Hall of Spring Valley. You can tell the dismay on his face there as he walks back across the field. It happens. There's a fine line and getting out of the blocks good and getting disqualified. So it's part of the sport. He looks to be all right there, getting pumped up by one of his teammates doing drills in the infield. I'm sure he'll rebound from it. Now will the rest of the field rebound from it as they got to get back in that mental game and reset and redo this heat of the 100. If you've ever watched track and field, you, you will know that false starts do happen a lot no matter what size of the meet or what level. Well, that appears they are paging Hall back to the start line. So we'll see what unfolds here. <laughs> so now Hall's excited coming back down as he's now not disqualified. So I'm sure he's, uh, he's having a whirlwind of emotions now. His head was down, he thought he was out, and now he's gotta come back and try it again. So our next event on the track after the boys 100 here will be the girls four by 200 meter relay. 
We'll have the boys 4x200 meter relay. And then we'll start with the 1600s, girls and boys. That's what we're looking towards next. So after this will be the 4x2. So a lot of these speedsters, if you're good at hurdles, the 100 and the 4x2, it's going to be a jam-packed uh, about a half hour or so here for you. So we're ready to restart this section here. The gun is up, and here we go. No false starts, no disqualifications, and we're moving. Second call, girls, 4 by 200 meter relay. And it looks like Second call, Bailey boys, of Raceland. Four by 200 meter relay. I believe Bailey of Raceland took that section of the 100. Section 4 goes to Bailey of Raceland. And Section 5 on the track now. Section 5 on the track. They're getting ready to roll. In lane one, we have Ty Staten of Fairland. A lot of you probably know that name from the Fairland basketball team. Ty Staten out there. His sister actually graduated from Chesapeake. And in lane two, another name that you're probably familiar with from Huntington High is Jaden Hayes. We have Wyatt Morse from Fairland in lane three. Malik Greer, Huntington High in lane four. Charlie Large from Ironton in lane five. And Gunnar Lewis of Raceland in lane six. So we got some multi-sport athletes here that I'm sure um, a lot of you have seen in the paper on the local news channel or here on Armstrong with some of the replays. Nice tri-state meet mix here, as I've already said, at the Lions Club Invitational. So Lane, one, Staten, two, Hayes, three, Morse, four, Greer, five, Large, six, Lewis. They make up this final heat of the 100. We do have an athlete entered at 11 flat. The meet record is 10-8. We'll see what the final time is once they race. Seeds are all there to beforehand, but that's why we run the races to see if you can actually run that. So we don't win it on paper here. And Mr. Whitley's blown his whistle. He's ready to get him going here. They are in the blocks. He has the gun up. And here we go, the final heat, and Hayes is out. I'm just gonna say right now, he's your winner. Hayes was your winner, it looked like Large of Ironton was second there. Hayes takes the win. As I said, that's a name you're probably all familiar with. Great football stand out there at Huntington High. Plays a little basketball too. Clearly he runs a little bit of track as he wins the Lion Club Invitational here at Chesapeake High School. On to the 4x2 relay. On to the girls, 4x2 relay. We have Gallia Academy, Wayne, Colgrove, Fairland, and Raceland. In lanes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We'll have two sections of the girls 4x2. So once again, section one, lane one, Gallia. Lane two, Wayne. Lane three, Colgrove. Lane four, Fairland. And lane five is Raceland in your girls' first section of the 4 by 200 meter relay. As I'm sure you can hear over the uh, PA system here up in the press box, that is Coach Markham of Chesapeake. He is Chesapeake track coach, middle school AD here at Chesapeake Middle School. And his dad, Rusty, is down there running the show as an official. So it's a family affair here at Chesapeake at the Lions Club invite with a Markham in the press box and a Markham on the field. Both are in control of making sure this thing runs smoothly. I don't want to jinx it, but so far, so good. Our Lions Club meet record for the girls, 4 by 200 meter relay, was set by Galley Academy in 1997. So Galley Academy 1997, they have the 4 by 200 meter girls record. For the boys, it was a team of Winfield in 2005. So Winfield 2005 boys, 97 girls of Gallia. They have your Lions Club records here, the 4 by 200 meter relay. Let's see if any of these teams can give it a run. So some official results to pass along here to you. In the 100 meter hurdles, for the girls, Ratliff was in eighth, seventh, Lewis, Sixth, Wise of Ironton. Five was Weir of Huntington. Four was Brown of Fairland. Cecil of Gallia, or pardon me, Colgrove in third. Griffiths of Ironton in second. And your winner from Huntington High was Bradshaw. She ran 16-4. Bradshaw of Huntington was your winner of the hurdles.
in the girls, 100 meter dash. Eighth was Quillen of Raceland. Seventh was Hatton of Spring Valley. Sixth was Tubbs of Fairland. Fifth was Jackson of Huntington. Fourth was Dick from St. Joe. Fifth was Polly of Ironton. Second was Herbert of Spring Valley. And your winner was Jackson of Huntington with 12-8-3. So she ran 12-8-3. That's your winner, Jackson of Huntington there. And for the boys in the 110 hurdles, eighth was Blair of Gallia. Seventh was Watts of Fairland. Sixth was Wiltworth of Colgrove. Keeney of Fairland was fifth. Huffman was fourth from Gallia. Or from Chesapeake, sorry. Third was Knight of Chesapeake. Second, Kid of Rock Hill. And first was Bradshaw. He ran 1456. Bradshaw of Huntington High, your winner there. 1456 in the 110 hurdles. Some results for you guys. And we're off here in section one of the girls, four by two. Looks like on the back stretch, that's Fairland moving up there. It looks like they'll be in the lead for the first exchange here. So each athlete runs 200 meters, which is approximately, depending on where they take the handoff uh, in the exchange zone, it's about half of the track. So they'll do that four times. And you'll notice the exchange zones there as they have to get it, as we previously discussed, during the four by eight in between those arrows. Looks like Fairland coming to the second exchange. Has the lead still, but it looks like Wayne is making that a little difficult for them. Cole Grove, that's Cole Grove moving up. Cole Grove into the lead. Cole Grove will be your leader there in the second exchange. And here we go to our final exchange. Colgrove still holding that lead. Colgrove holding that lead in the final exchange here of our first section of the 4x2 for girls. Third final call, boys, 4x2, 100. Final call, boys, 4x200 meter relay. Second call, girls, 1600 meter run. And Colgrove is going to take your first section here. They are followed by Raceland. And then Wayne and Fairland. And then Col and then Gallia Academy. Coming down the home stretch as well. So these girls will finish their first section. Our second section of the 4x2 and our final section. In lane 1, we'll have Chesapeake. In lane 2, we'll have Huntington. In lane 3, we'll have Spring Valley. Lane 4, Ironton. Lane 5, Gallia. And lane 6, Rock Hill. Those girls and teams will make up our second and final section of the girls 4x2. And we're off and running here. In our second and final section of the girls' 4x200 meter relay. Sometimes it might be a little deceiving to tell who's in the lead due to the stagger. If it looks like people in lane six are getting a head start, they're really not. It's just uh, the way the, the track is laid out here. Everyone's running the same distance. It just looks a little, con dis con a little wrong there. I'm going to have to cut that part out. Away clean on our first exchange. No yellow flags. Everyone got the stick through the zone. And Rock Hill here in the lead. That stagger is not uh, any, isn't disconceiving there. They are in the lead as they go into this exchange. Looks like Spring Valley's moving up pretty well. Ironton too. And now Ironton has taken over the lead. A 
we're going to have a pretty close race here into this final exchange. We got three teams all together there. Spring Valley moving up. I think that's Hatton from Spring Valley on the third leg there, if I'm not mistaken. And no yellow flags for the final exchange. So here we go. We are set up for a great finish in this girls four by two. And checking my notes, I was correct. That was Hatton that made a big move for Spring Valley there. And now here comes Huntington down the final stretch, followed by Spring Valley and Ironton. And Huntington High takes it. Well, that was a really tight race there. One, two, three in this second section. And I think it's safe to say that unofficially Huntington High has won. That was a great final two legs there. Up next on the track, we'll have the first section of the boys, four by two. In our first section of the boys, four by two in lane two, we will have Gallia Academy. Lane three will be Chesapeake, and lane four will be South Point. Gallia, Chesapeake, South Point. Those teams make up our first section of the boys, four by two relay. Next up on the track. And we're off here in section one of the boys, four by 200 meter relay. Once again, your contestants in this first section here. It looks to be, oh, nope, there he is, coming around. We got Gallia, Chesapeake, and South Point. Gallia, Chesapeake, and South Point. It's an all OVC affair here in this first section. And Chesapeake gets the handoff there first through the first exchange. And now Colgrove pulling up on Chesapeake in the home stretch here. South Point, pardon me, South Point. And it's pretty close into that exchange. And it's South Point in the final exchange there in second. And first is Chesapeake. So Chesapeake really put away on that leg. It was close, but Chesapeake's going to take it here easily in section one of the four by two. You're watching this at home. It might not even be anyone else on the screen on that one. All purple there. Section two up on the track, getting ready here. Our final section, and then we'll begin a little bit of a distance racing. Section two, lane one, Spring Valley. Lane two, Raceland. Lane three, they have the 100 meter champion there, Jaden Hayes, that's Huntington High. Lane four is Fairland. Lane five is Rock Hill, and lane six is Colgrove. That makes up section two. First the boys, four by 200 meter high relay, our final section. And some results to pass along to you here. You heard me say that Hayes was your 100 meter champion down there. In eighth place, we had Storms of Colgrove. Seventh was Wilder of Spring Valley. Sixth was Lewis of Raceland. Fifth was Staten of Fairland. Fourth was Hall of Spring Valley. Third was Large of Ironton. Second was Bailey of Raceland. And your winner was Jaden Hayes of Huntington High. He gave Robbie Isaac's record a run for it. He ran 10.95. The record was 10.8. I think it's safe to say that both of those men are pretty athletic there in multiple sports. 10.95 for Hayes as he almost got after that meet record. And now he's down on the track in the 4 by 2 Let's see what he can do down there with the Highlanders as we're getting ready here to get into the blocks in our final section. And we're off.
And into the first exchange. Everyone's clear. And Huntington High is moving up well on that first exchange. Huntington High moving into the lead. And they're moving right along to this next exchange. As Malik Greer, he's going to be handing off to Devin Jackson. And then Jackson will hand off to Jaden Hayes. That is Huntington High in the 4 by 2 there. Looks like Fairland moving up into second. And we have a little battle there between Wayne and I believe that is Cole Grove. And the handoff to Hayes is clean for Huntington High. And around the turn, they have about 45 meter lead. And Hayes is pulling and pulling on the lead. Nice and smooth as he comes in here. Highlanders will win the four by two. Looks like Fairland's gonna be second. And they're gonna be followed by Raceland, Rock, Kill, and Cole Grove. And that's your boys four by two, the Huntington Highlanders there. Jaden Hayes with two wins now. And we see the girls walking down to start the 1600 meter run. Got a pretty packed field there. It's the girls 1600 meter now on the track. We have Brooke Johnson of Gallia, Peyton Gaffney of Green, Ashley Music of Raceland. We have Kelsey Hagermeyer of Chesapeake, Deanna Hall of Fairland, Maddie Runyon of Colgrove, Winnie Mays of Huntington, Brittany Jeffers of Spring Valley, Haley Cooper of Spring Valley, Haley Wallace of Wayne, McKenna Panel of Fairland, Isabel Collins of Rock Hill, Cameron Miller of Rock Hill, Maddie Stewart of Gallia. We have Cross from Huntington St. Joe, Molly Russ of Ironton, Sydney Mick Burns Harris. of Chesapeake, and Kirsten Stroud of Wayne. All these young ladies make up your only section of the 1600 meter run for girls out here on the track. And if you're a distance person, this is pretty ideal weather. There should be no complaints here for the girls mile. Or should I say 1600 technically out here on the track. And we're off here in the girls 1600. It'll be four laps. The results of the boys 100 meter dash in eighth place Storms of Colgrove, seventh place Wilder of Spring Valley, sixth place Lewis of Raceland, fifth place Staten of Fairland, fourth place Hall of Spring Valley, third place Large of Ironton, second place Bailey of Raceland, and in first place with a time of 10.95 seconds, Hayes of Huntington High. So we have about 18 competitors here in the girls mile. The results of the girls four by 200 meter relay in eighth place Chesapeake, seventh place Raceland, sixth place Rock Hill, fifth place Gallia Academy, fourth place Colgrove, third place Ironton, second place Spring Valley, and in first place Huntington. The results of the boys four by 200 meter relay in eighth place Gallia Academy, seventh South Point, sixth Chesapeake, fifth Colgrove, fourth Rock Hill, third place Raceland, second place Fairland, and in first place with a time of one minute 44.41 seconds, Huntington. And they come through about 79 and 80, 79, 80. And in the lead there, that appears to be panel from Fairland in the lead. Pretty solid top group there. The girls come through in about 5.20 to 5.18 pace, roughly, depending on how you add those tenths of a second up. On the lane, or on the lap two here. You can see Miller stalking there from Rock Hill. You can see Hall from Fairland. A little Chesapeake mix there as well. Still really early on though. A lot of times in the mile, people are feeling it out. They go out a little too fast. So we'll see a lot of lead changes, I'm sure, here. A lot of battles for second, third, and fourth. Nothing's forever certain. So our pace has slowed a little bit here. They've got a lot of the jitters out. Still a pretty close pack here. Fairland Chesapeake battle here. 
panel still in the lead. You see Mays there and Hall, Miller, all in there. Lead pack there came through about 253. About 253 there for the lead pack, roughly. So they've slowed, and now Miller has gone to the front on the back stretch here. As they approach the K mark, have about a lap and a half left after they get through here. Miller probably has a little bit of strategy. Her brother was an all right runner, I guess you could say, for Rock Hill, now running at Shawnee State. So I'm sure she knows what to do. She's well trained, she's got a lot of experience to be so young. Now we have another Fairland push here. So once again, Fairland Rock Hill going back and forth at it in some of these distance races. Chesapeake, a school that doesn't have cross country, uh, doing pretty well in this mile here. That's pretty impressive for a school that doesn't have cross country. And we see Mays here from Huntington High. She's made a couple state meets over in West Virginia AAA. AAA West Virginia at the top of it. No joke. And, and we have a big move here to the front. Big move to the front here. As we go into the final lap, she's broken the field here. Here she goes. That's Hegermeyer from Chesapeake. A non cross country school, and this girl is going at it. She's trying to win one for the home crowd here. She passes through about 1,400 meters. She made a daring move there, and she broke a lot of experienced runners. Let's see if she has enough gas here to bring it home. Kelsey Hagermeyer, here she comes. She is just moving right along here, and she's got a little bit left in the tank here for the finish. Here she comes. Let's see if we can get an approximate time on her. She's lapping people already. What a tremendous race. She was entered at six flat, and she is going to run about 545 exactly there. 545 exactly there for her. And then panel coming in at 551 there, followed by Mays. And we have Petter St. Joe. We got Hall coming in from Fairland. And we have Miller from Rock Hill. Those will compromise most of your scores there. 545 though, unofficially for your winner from Chesapeake. Kelsey Hagermeyer really put on a move there. We have the boys 1600 meter coming up now. Once again, a full field for this. All right, we have Eli Baker of Rock Hill, Dylan French of Colgrove, Zach Basenback of Wayne, Gabriel Johnson of Chesapeake, Bailey Durfield of Green, Ian Hicks of Chesapeake, TJ Cantrell, South Point, Spring Valley's Andrew Ball, Ethan LaFon from Fairland, Connor Hogson of Raceland, Heinz and Highs, Landon Edwards, Caleb Greenlee from Gallia, James Hallam of Green, Parker Ball from Raceland, Ryan Goodson of South Point, Kyle Greenlee, yes they are twins and they are pretty outstanding wrestlers from Gallia Academy there, Wade Brown from Fairland, Blake Waller of Rock Hill, Lucas Streeter of Huntington, Hunter Donahue of Spring Valley, and Wyatt Draper from Wayne rounds out your field here of the boys' mile. So we're here with Cussie Hagermeyer. She was your girls' champion in the 1600. She's a sophomore from Chesapeake High School. As the boys are underway here, and why don't you just tell us uh, how you felt out there and uh, if you thought it was a good night to race? I felt good. I was really warmed up tonight, more than usual. So the weather was good, too. This is like my favorite like running weather. So I was ready for it. And when I was running, I like paced behind people. So they like block the wind. And then at the, towards the end, I just kick it in and give it all I got. 
All right, well, great. Yeah, I was, you know, if you uh, see the replay of this, you'll tell me, I'll A, talk about how nice the weather was and how there should be no complaints for distance. And then B, I said that you were tucking in some experienced girls there. You know, you beat a lot of state qualifier girls from both states there. Yeah. As a girl that hasn't ran much there, how, how do you feel about that? That feels good. <laughs> yeah, no, that was impressive. Good job. I'm sure we'll let you cool down and get on out your way, and uh, we'll see you back out here in another event tonight. Yeah, the 800 and the 4x4. 800 the 4x4, four four, so she's going to bring it home for the Panthers tonight. Lions Club champion trying to get some more as we have another Chesapeake boy here in the lead. All the Chesapeake kids going for it here in the lead of this mile. The results of the girls 1600 in eighth place, Jeffers from Spring Valley, seventh, Johnson from Gallia Academy, sixth, Miller from Rock Hill, in fifth place, Hall from Fairland. In fourth place, Gross from St. Joe. In third place, Mays from Huntington. In second place, Panel from Fairland. And in first place, with the time of 5 minutes, 46.75 seconds, Hagemeyer from Chesapeake. Through here and the boys are about halfway, passing through there about 219. So we're at about 438-ish pace here for the boys early on. As they're moving around the track. It appears to be Streeter still pulling away on his lead there. They pass through about a K. But there is a pack lurking behind him of Rock Hill, Fairland, and Spring Valley there. He's in a lead. They've made it through 1,000 meters. Now it's time to start racing. Let's see what we get here as he heads into the final lap. He's still got the lead. Pretty commanding. It's a little windy. But he's got a strong athletic frame. It's not really bothering him that much. So here he comes through, gun lap 336. He's on 448 pace. He's on 448 pace, pretty solid effort here. But you can see the pack moving behind him here. Here they go as they move up. Here we are. We've got a race here. The pack in the back, 300 to go. Does he have much left? Has the pack worked together? Here we go. Here's a big move. It's a Huntington High Spring Battle, Spring Valley Battle here. Fairland and Rock Hill close behind in third and fourth. 200 to go. As Streeter is overtaken. It's going to be Dunhue from Spring Valley. Or pardon me, that is going to be Andrew Ball. That is Ball from Spring Valley. Ball from Spring Valley. And we have a battle here, but he's going to take the win here. Here he comes all the way through, and he is going to run 448. So a solid last lap there as he closed in about 70 and a half seconds. Do take the win, 448, solid mile there. And that is Andrew Ball from Spring Valley. Our next event on the track is gonna be the boys four by 100. We have two sections, pardon me, the girls four by 100, girls four by 100, still two sections. From Raceland, we have Raceland in two, Chesapeake in three, Fairland in four, and Gallia in five. We we'll get those girls on the track here as soon as we finish up this boys' mile. The results of the boys' 1600 meter run in eighth place, Hallam of Green, seventh, Brown of Fairland, sixth, Greenlee, Gallia Academy, fifth, Lafon of Fairland, fourth place, Baker from Rock Hill, third, Johnson from Chesapeake, in second place, Streeter of Huntington. And in first place with a time of 4 minutes, 48.75 seconds, ball from Spring Valley.
So once again, our girls are off here in section one. We have Raceland, Chesapeake, Fairland, and Gallia in section one. The results of the girls 1600 in eighth place, Jeffers from Spring Valley, seventh, Johnson from Gallia Academy, sixth, Miller from Rock Hill, in fifth place, Hall from Fairland, in fourth place, Gross from St. Joe, in third place, Mays from Huntington, in second place, Panel from Fairland, and in first place, with a time of five minutes, 46.75 seconds, Hagemeyer from Chesapeake. I guess I should have addressed it that we also <clears throat> have our starter here as I was talking about being a family affair and that is Rusty's daughter down there Heather she is now in Ellingsworth she's married but she is also our starter so if you hear the PA announcer address her as Madam Starter that is Heather so we're ready to do section two here in one we have Colgrove in two Rock Hill in three, Huntington. Lane four, Spring Valley. Lane five is Gallia, and lane six is Wayne. As these teams make up your second heat of the girls, four by two. And we're off. After this, we'll get the boys on the track for the four by ones, the girls four by one, second heat. Huntington High, your early leader here. And we're heading into the final exchange here, into the final exchange, into the home stretch. And it is Huntington High. They've got a commanding lead. They're going to win this. They're going to be followed by Spring Valley. And Rock Hill holds off Colgrove there. Huntington commanding lead here in the sprinting events on both boys and girls sides. Now let's let the boys do it out here. In section one, we have Gallia in one, Tulsa in two, Green in three, Chesapeake in four, Fairland in five, and South Point in six. They make up the first section of two in the boys four by 100 meter relay. Once again, in lane two, we have Raceland. Oh, pardon me. Lane one, we have Gallia. Lane two, Tulsa. Three, Green. Four, Chesapeake. Five, Fairland. Six, South Point. As we are underway here, Fairland to the front in this first section. Everyone's made it through the exchange zones pretty clean. And here we go, and through this next zone, no flags yet. Fairland moving around the turn. They have a pretty solid lead right now. And into the final exchange, here come the Dragons. They are going to win this first section. They're followed by Chesapeake with Green moving up quickly. Fairland across the line. Chesapeake across the line, green. And there the you go, there's the first section. Section two, we're gonna have Raceland in one, Ironton in two, Huntington in three. They do have Jaden Hayes as well on this relay. Dawson Bryant, Colgrove in four, Spring Valley in five, and Rock Hill in six. This is your second and final heat. Up next on the track, we'll have the girls 400. We'll have three heats of the girls 400. Up now on the track, section two of the boys four by 100 meter relay. In our final section of the boys four by one here. Here we go. The results of the girls four by 100 meter relay 
eighth place, Raceland, seventh, Fairland, sixth, Chesapeake, fifth, Gallia Academy, fourth, Colgrove, third, Rock Hill, second, Spring Valley, and in first place with a time of 54.77 seconds, girls from Huntington. Here we go. Clean through the zone. Huntington High in the lead. We'll have Nash handing off to Hayes, and the four by two is Greer handing off. So Nash off to Hayes. And there we go. Huntington High in first year winner there. They win the four by one. Next up, the first section of three of the girls 400. Frazier of Raceland, lane two, Harris of Colgrove, Booth of Fairland in three, Hearn of South Point in four, and Meddings of Rock Hill in five. Those girls will make up your first section of three. Up next in the girls 400. So I'm standing here with Jaden Hayes from Huntington High. Uh, he's won three events so far at the Lions Club Invitational. Uh, Jaden, how'd you feel out there today so far? Well, I think we did pretty good for our first uh, meet all together. Uh, last meet, we weren't all together. We had a replacement, so today was our first meet together. I think we did pretty good. And uh, you ran pretty fast out there in that 100, uh, 10 9 5 they had you at. Uh, is that a PR for you? Yeah, definitely a PR. Right. I don't think I'm right. We got the whole relay team here. We got hey, everybody. Gets, what's your name? Uh, Malik Greer. Malik, nice job, man. What's uh, your name? Isaiah Nash. Isaiah Nash. What's your name? Keyshawn Bryant. Right. So we got the whole Huntington High relay here with their, with their friend Jaden here. They're all winning. It's all point to the camera right here. Here they are. It's so high, and high right here. Jaden's got three wins. Will we see anything else tonight? Oh, no, not from me. Jaden's done. Anyone else racing here tonight? Open two right here. So Heinz and High still got some guys in it. So watch out for the Highlanders out here in the sprints tonight. Guys, keep it up. All right, let's read off some results here. Uh, let's start with some field events. In the girls, uh, girls shot put. In eighth place, Bryant from Colgrove. Seventh, Polinski from Gallia Academy. Sixth, Wilburn from Raceland. Fifth, Wright from Spring Valley. Fourth, Goodson from Huntington High. Third, Stager from Gallia Academy. Second, Scott from Rock Hill. And in first place with a throw of 30 feet, 2 inches, Fife from Raceland. In the discus, st sticking with the girls here, girls discus. In eighth place, Foley, Huntington High. Second place, Steyer from Gallia Academy. Sixth place, Jamal from Fairland. In fifth place, Scott from Rock Hill. In fourth place, Bryant from Colgrove. In third place, Goodson from Huntington High. In second place, Mayo from Spring Valley. And in first place, with a throw of 103 feet, 5 inches, Wilburn from Raceland. So we are on the girls 400 here. Once again, we have three heats of the girls 400. Our first section finished there. Now we're up to section two of the girls 400. In one, we have Katie Brumfield of Huntington. In two, we have Brooke Hamilton of Gallia. Three, Sierra Brown, you saw her in the hurdles. She's from Fairland. Bailey McKnight from Colgrove. Cameron Collins from Rock Hill. And Macy Webb from Raceland. Those six girls make up your second section of three in the girls 400. Up next here underneath the lights at the Chesapeake Lions Club invite. In the girls long jump. In eighth place, Cassidy from Ironton. In seventh place, Skidmore from Gallia Academy. In sixth place, Booth from Fairland. In fifth place, Irvin from Chesapeake. In fourth place, Dick from St. Joe. Third place, Smith from Colgrove. In second place, Hagemeyer from Chesapeake. And in first place, with a jump of 16 feet, nine inches. Rather impressive. Turner from Huntington High. In the girls' pole vault. In seventh place, Queen from Gallia Academy. We had a three-way tie for fourth place between Scott of Rock Hill, Frazier of Colgrove, 
and Music from Raceland. In third place, Neil from Rock Hill. In second place, Holiday from Colgrove. And in first place, with a jump of seven feet, six inches, Griffiths from Ironton. Off here in our third and final section of the girls 400. We have Laura Eves of Spring Valley, Sarah Roach of South Point, Catherine Dean of Wayne in lane four Spring Valley. We have Carly Tackett. We have Corinne Trance from Gallia, and in lane six is Jordan Michaels. They make up your final heat here of the girls 400. Next up on the track, we will have our first of four boys sections. First of four boys sections. We'll have Anderson from South Point, Jordan from South Point, and Draper from Wayne. Those three will make up your first heat of four for the girl for the boys 400. Once the girls finish up here. All right, here are some of the boys' results. We'll also start with the field events. In shot put, uh, eighth place, Setzer. I believe that's I for Ironton. Baldwin or in eighth place. In seventh place, Baldwin from Colgrove. In sixth place, Humphreys from Ironton. In fifth place, McGinnis from Rock Hill. In fourth place, Ferguson from Raceland. In third place, Hannah from Huntington High. In second place, Nestor from Spring Valley. And in first place, with a throw of 48 feet, half inch, Fikes from Huntington High. In the discus, Hicks, eighth place, Hicks from Colgrove. In seventh place, penmanship is awful, but a Rock Hill young man. Number six, in sixth place, Humphreys from Ironton. Uh, in fifth place, Ferguson from Raceland. In fourth place, Baldwin from Colgrove. In third place, Nestor from Spring Valley. In second place, McGinnis from Rock Hill. And in first place, with a throw of 144 feet, Fikes from Huntington High. It's 400 here underway in section two, which will be up next. We'll have Spears from Chesapeake. Schultz from Colgrove, Brewer of Fairland, Waller of Rock Hill, Ball of Spring Valley, and Pleasance of Colgrove. They all make up section two. And our winner here is going to be Anderson from South Point. He will take our first section of four in the boys' 400. In the high jump, we had a three-way tie for eighth place. Appreciate the help on the scoring. Huffman from Green, Storms and Workman from Colgrove. In seventh place, Harris from Gallia Academy. In sixth place, looks to be Blower from Gallia Academy. In fifth place, Ellis. Should be a tie for fourth place between Nida of Chesapeake and Ellis of Spring Valley. In third place, Ball from Spring Valley. In second place, Hughes from Raceland, and in first place with a jump of six feet, two inches, Cochran from Rock Hill. And taking section two, Brewer wins section two of the 400. Up next on the track, we have section three in lane one, Quincy Jackson of Raceland, Zarius Miller of Huntington, Ethan Bowens of Wayne, Blaine Cremines from Fairland, Ethan Huffman from Green, and Nick Bowen from Spring Valley. And they make up section three of the boys' 400. In pole vault, we had a tie for seventh place between Kessinger from South Point and Duncan from Gallia Academy. In sixth place, Carey from Colgrove. In fifth place, Baker from Rock Hill. Fourth place, or excuse me, a tie for third place between Har Harless of Chesapeake and Greenlee of Gallia Academy. In second place, Wilson from Chesapeake. And in first place, with a vault of 12 feet six inches, McFarland from Fairland. In long jump, in eighth place, Huffman from Green. In seventh place, Edwards from Huntington High. 
In sixth place, Bias from Huntington St. Joe. In fifth place, Call from Gallia Academy. In fourth place, Donovsky from Gallia Academy. In third place, Hall from Spring Valley. In second place, Miller from Huntington High. And in first place, with a jump of 19 feet, two inches, Wilder from Spring Valley. In our final section here, the boys four by four. Edwards of Huntington, Harris of Gallia, Wood of Rock Hill, Richendaller of Chesapeake, Lewis of Raceland, Blair of Gallia, off and running here. Section four of four, and the boys 400 meter. Up next on the track, we'll have our first of two sections of the girls 300 meter hurdles. Our first of two sections will be up next following the conclusion of the boys 400. And about halfway there looks to be Noah Wood in the lead from Rock Hill. And Wood from Rock Hill will be your winner here, followed by Rich and Dollar. takes the final section there, the boys 400. Next up will be the 300 hurdles. In lane one, we'll have Star Burns from Gallia, Samantha Sparks from Spring Valley in two, Sydney Rister from Worthing, from Raceland in three, in four from Fairland. We'll have Aya Jamal in five, Sydney Pater from Spring Valley, and in six, we'll have Trinity Eggers from Gallia. That'll be our first section of the girls, 300 hurdles. Girls running events. I believe we left off about the 400 meters, so we'll go from there. In eighth place, Collins from Rock Hill. Seventh place, Webb from, Ra from Raceland. Sixth place, McKnight from Colgrove. Fifth place, Hamilton from Gallia Academy. Fourth place, Brown from Fairland. Third place, Tackett from Spring Valley. Second place, Roach from South Point. And in first place, with a time of 106.15, Dean from Wayne. All right, and section two of the girls' 300-meter hurdles here. We have Ratliff from Green, Riggs from Huntington, Cecil from Colgrove, Quillen from Raceland, Brown from Fairland, and Little John from Rock Hill. These six ladies make up your second section of the girls' 300-meter hurdles next up on the track. these ladies in this final section. That looks to be Sarah Cecil. Moving right along in lane three. And Rattler from Green in second. And Cecil will take this section. Cecil from Colgrove takes the final section. And from Green, Ratliff had a little trouble with the last hurdle, but she made it to be second in this final section. Next up on the track, we'll have the boys, 300 meter hurdles. Section one of three. We'll have Gabe Human of Spring Valley in two, Kyle McKenzie of Raceland in three, Derek Pennington of Raceland, Troy Otworth in four, he's from Green, Mikey Henson from Spring Valley in five, and Andrew Carnes from Huntington St. Joe in lane six. Those boys make up the first section of three. Next up on the track. In the girls' 300-meter hurdles, in eighth place, Adams from Rock Hill. In seventh place, Jamal from Fairland. In sixth place, Music from Raceland. 
in fifth place, Burns from Spring Valley. In fourth place, Painter from Spring Valley. In third place, Edgers from Gallia Academy. In second place, Ratliff from Green. And in first place with a time of 52.46 seconds, Cecil from Colgrove. In your first section there, that looked to be McKenzie from Raceland. Next up, section two, we have Justin Hicks in lane one from Colgrove, Greg Keeney in two from Fairland, Ezra Blaine from Gallia in three, in Hill in four, he's also from Gallia, Chase Watson five, he's from Fairland, and Noah Roberts in six from Rock Hill. Section two on the track here, and the starter has the gun up. We're back to Mr. Whitley here, the 300 hurdles, and he's got him ready to roll. And they're off here. All right, here are some of the boys' results. The running events thus far. The 400-meter dash in eighth place, Miller from Huntington. In seventh place, Jackson from Raceland. In sixth place, Harris from Gallia Academy. Fifth place, Bowens from Wayne. Fourth place, Lewis from Raceland. In third place, Edwards from Huntington. In second place, Richendaller from Chesapeake. And in first place, with a time of 51.08 seconds, Wood from Rock Hill. And that is Keeney from Fairland in the lead, however, being challenged over the final hurdle. And Keeney holds them off, barely it appears there. Blaine from Gallia might have got in there on him. Next up is section three. We have Dalton Knight in lane one. He's from Chesapeake. Gabe Kidd from Rock Hill. He's in two. Des Bradshaw from Huntington High. He's in three. Joey Workman from Colgrove in four. Zach Huffman from Green and and Cameron Harless from Chesapeake in six. Bradshaw was our winner earlier in the boys' 110 hurdles. He's a hurdle specialist. Let's see if he has an easy win in the 300s as he did in the 110s. He made it look pretty easy. So Bradshaw's back. And he has the fastest seed time in this heat by far. And the boys are off in the 300 hurdles here. like Bradshaw is going to have a convincing win. He's going to be followed by Workman from Colgrove, it appears. Bradshaw in first, Workman in Hurl second from Colgrove. So Bradshaw, our double hurdle winner here at the Lions Club invite. Next up, we do have the girls 800 as the hurdle crew clears off the track here. Let's run through these competitors in the 800 for the girls. It's one section. Kristen Jamora from Gallia, Zoe Runyon from Spring Valley, Isabella Collins from Rock Hill, Haley Wallace of Wayne, Kaylin Evanich from Fairland, Hannah Runyon of Huntington, Joe Ellsworth of South Point, Sarah Watts, we saw her in the 4x8, she's from Gallia, Sophia Mays from Huntington, Peyton Gaffney from Green, Rachel Music from Raceland, Kelsey Hagermeyer, we saw her win the mile earlier from Chesapeake, Molly Russ from Ironton, Jada Smith from Colgrove, Regina Gross from Huntington St. Joe, Second Lauren Runyon from Raceland, Haley Fuller from Fairland, Allie Neal from Rock Hill, Abby Browning from Wayne, Claudia Gist from Spring Valley, and Maddie Runyon from Colgrove. Rounding out the girls' competitors in the 800. Next up on the track, based off previous races we've seen, I think we'll have a good battle here between Hagermeyer and between Watts. Hagermeyer's going off a win. She's got the adrenaline going. Watts has the experience and being an 800 specialist. Hagermeyer's pretty good at the 800 herself. Ran around 225 last season. We'll see what we get here. 
There could be someone else in the field as well. Got him into their lanes here, and we're off. The 800 will be two laps around. And as expected, we do have Watts here in the lead early on. And she is followed by Hagermeyer from Chesapeake. So the first two projections there. And in third, we do have our contestant from St. Joe. That is Gross there. She's moving up. And the girls came through there at about 112. So they're on about 224 pace, roughly, through the 400. Both these ladies are... Ran that fast before. So this pace to them is nothing too strenuous. Here we go on the back stretch, about under 300. In the 800, this is where the race starts to heat up now. You have a couple moves left in the 800 here. Usually only one good move, but sometimes two moves, depending on the way the race plays out, whether it's in your strengths or not. And they're coming through there about 150 for the 600. So 150 for 600. They're moving pretty quick there. That's about 225, 226. So they're staying pretty consistent to what they came through the 400 at. 148 would have been 224. Into the home stretch. Watts with the lead. Hangermeyer moving up now. This last 60 meters, we're about to have a battle. Will Watts have anything to respond to Hagermeyer for? And here comes Hagermeyer. She's going to bring it home for her second victory of the night in the Lions Club Invitational. And she's going to run about 2.30 on the nose there, followed by Watts in second. This will be Gross from St. Joe in third. It's about 2.30 to 2.31-ish, roughly there. Hagermeyer first, Watts second. Hagermeyer with two wins here in the 1600 and 800. Two wins in front of the home crowd. And we have a bunch of contestants now filing in to finish up here. All under three minutes now. Pretty decent field. Our next event on the track is going to be the boys 800 meters. Once again, it is one section, just as the girls race was. And we have... Once again, a full field. All right, we've got third and final call. In one. A, run. to start us off, we're going to have Second Caleb Greenlee from Gallia. Mason Fannin from Fairland. Hunter Donahoe from Spring Valley. Bailey Durfield from Green. We have Wade Brown from Fairland. Connor Hoxton from Raceland. Ryan Goodson from South Point. Victor Aguilera from Rock Hill. Kyle Greenlee from Gallia. Andy Maysheen from Chesapeake. Morgan Schultz. From Colgrove, Isaiah Coleman from Huntington, Ethan Miller from Rock Hill, Tristan Wiseman from Colgrove, Wyatt Draper from Wayne, Lewis Streeter, we saw him in that great mile race earlier on. He's from Huntington High, Wesley Monroe from Ironton, Zach Basenback from Wayne, Kyle Badgett from South Point, Josh Ramey from Chesapeake, Caden Abin from Raceland, and Spencer Monteville from Spring Valley. All those young men stepping onto the track now. They round out your field for the boys, 800. A lot of these guys earlier ran the four by eight, just as the girls. Pretty solid. Double here, some of them might be tripling. I see a couple faces out there that did do the mile. They're on the eight and we're on some four by eight legs. So. Busy night for some of these guys. Some of them might come back in either the 4x4 or the 3200, so their night is not over. So our boys' record is 159.3. It was set by Chesapeake's own Ryan Sloan. It's about to get underway here. Once again, in the boys' 800. Just waiting on the red flag. Maybe there's a paper jam in the sprint eight. Everyone moving around the track here on the 800. It's 
Still early on, a little too close to tell. Aguilar from Rock Hill is our top seed at 203, and then we have a whole slew of guys around 211 to 212 on paper. Be interesting to see if previous races are catching up to him. The wind is a little bit stiffer than it was when we started the meet. However, the temperature is still pretty nice for distance running out there. Not too cold. And it is Aguilera in first there as we come across the 400 meters or approaching 400 meters. See Streeter down there from Huntington in pursuit. We saw him in the 1600 earlier. Still early on. And now we have a little bit of a challenge here. It appears to be Ramey from Chesapeake moving up on his OVC foe here of Ro from Rock Hill. These two young guys are pulling away. And we have someone moving up into third pretty strong here. Can't tell if that's someone from Ironton or Raceland. I believe it's Ironton. That's someone from Ironton. I would have to guess that that is uh, Monroe of Ironton or nope Monroe is the only Ironton entrant in this so you're hearing the name from Ironton in middle distance race and the last name Monroe and that's probably the younger brother of Gary Monroe Ironton standout as Aguilar will take it in his top seed time Ramey's going to be second from Chesapeake and Monroe's going to hang in third there from Ironton and then we have a whole slew of guys coming through here to finish up this 800. It was too close to tell on a bunch of those guys as they battled to the line. So Aguilera, Ramey, and Monroe, your top three here. The Monroe is holding down their middle distance tradition. Gary was a great miler, 1,500 meter runner of Moorhead State, now in med school down in Lewisburg. And his brother's having some success, too, out here. Still doing great things for Coach Thomas and the Tigers. You'll notice as you go along, a lot of these names and a lot of the events, there's usually a, a brother or a cousin Third or a sister or an aunt or an uncle uh, from the area that usually had success in Second track or a similar athletic dash. field. And first call, girls, 3,200-meter run. So now we're moving on here. Going to move on. To the girls 200 meter dash girls 200 meter dash it's our next event up on the track in the girls 800 meter run in eighth place just from spring valley seventh place rust from ironton sixth place browning from wayne fifth place runyon from spring valley Fourth place, Wallace from Wayne. Third place, Gross from Huntington St. Joe. In second place, Watts from Gallia Academy. And in first place, with a time of 2 minutes 31 seconds, Hagemeyer from Chesapeake. All right, here are some of the boys' results in the boys' 800 meter run. In eighth place, Abden from Raceland. In seventh place, Goodson from South Point. In sixth place, Greenlee from Gallia Academy. In fifth place, Streeter from Huntington High. Fourth place, Coleman from Huntington High. Third place, Monroe from Ironton. In second place, Ramey from Chesapeake. And in first place, with the time of 210.05 seconds, Aguilera from Rock Hill.
All right, and that concludes our girls' 200s. Next up will be the boys' 200. The boys' 200-meter meet record. It's held by Josh Perry from Gallia. Set back in 2002. He ran 22-3. 22-3 for Perry from Gallia in the 200. And the boys are up now on the track. On paper, we're supposed to have five sections. But down on the track, our officials could have consolidated some and some people could have maybe wanted to leave a little early to get their weekend started. Sometimes that happens, sadly. But on paper, we have five sections. We're going to go with it. We have Josh Rigney from South Point, Ronnie Anders from South Point, and Isaac Bias from Huntington St. Joe in this first section of five of the boys' 200. Once again, meet record 22-3, set back in 0-2 by Josh Perry. And we only have two in this heat. And they're both South Point athletes there. So it's Rigney and Anderson, no bias in this heat. Bringing in Anderson, battle it to the line. And section two, Cooper of Spring Valley, Carey of Colgrove, Bodmer of Ironton, Bartram of Wayne, Thompson of Ironton, and Doss of Tulsa. They're in the boys 200. Let's read off some results here. And the girls 200 meter dash results in eighth place, Riggs from South Point. In seventh place, Hale from Huntington St. Joe. In sixth place, Ratliff from Green. In fifth place, Hatton from Spring Valley. In fourth place, Irvin from Chesapeake. In third place, Herbert from Spring Valley. In second place, Jackson from Huntington High. And in first place with a time of 26.82, Turner from Huntington High. All right, as we're beginning the final section of the boys' 200 here, we have Bailey of Raceland, Staten of Fairland, Call of Gallia, Brian of Huntington, Workman of Colgrove, and Rich and Dollar of Chesapeake. They're making up this fifth section here of the 200. And they're off and going there. After this, we'll have the girls' 3200, followed by the boys' 3200. Then it'll be everyone's favorite, the 4x400-meter relay, to close out the meet tonight. Mr. Whitley is ready to get him going here. He's our starter for this event. And he's got them ready here, giving them the call. It's going to our girls' two mile record is 11.34. And we're off here, the first of eight laps. The competitors of your girls' 3200 is going to be Simpson from Rock Hill, Miller from Rock Hill, Markson from Gallia, Panel from Fairland, Gaffney from Green, Hall of Fairland, Running of Colgrove, Jeffers from Spring Valley, Connolly from Gallia, and Burns from Chesapeake. Those ladies make up your 3200 meter field tonight. This will be eight laps around, just shy of a full two miles. So eight laps around for these ladies. 
underneath the lights. It's a little bit breezy. The temperature, not too bad for distance running. Not as ideal as it was during the mile. However, still pretty good conditions. Not too hot. In the wind, they sit in a pack. Shouldn't be too cold or too strong. All right, into the front here, we have our two athletes from Fairland Hall and panel, followed by Miller from Rock Hill. They come through in an 87, a minute 27 there. They've pulled away from the field and established themselves. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that those three will make the race. It'll be interesting with the wind and how that sets up. Uh, if you saw some great strategy in the mile, if you saw that earlier, uh, I think there'll be some great strategy coming to play here in this girls' 3200. We've got one lap down. Seven to go. So once again, after this, we'll have the boys' 3200 followed by the 4x4 four four out here. The Fairland girls look to be switching off the lead. Miller just stalking back there. Those are three girls that are very familiar with racing each other in the OVC, district races, regionals and all the other local meets. They're used to racing a lot, so I don't think there's any gonna, gonna be any tricks pulled here. They pretty much know each other's strength, so it's all gonna come down to, you know, who wants it the most, I believe. We'll see if anyone gets a little wild and tries to break the field deeper in, but right now, it's just a strategy. I don't think we're really running for time. It's all for points here this late in the meet. These ladies have competed in multiple events. The pace they went out at would be nice to see. That'd be a great time to run. However, they went out, broke the field. Now they're starting to settle back in as they would have right now even split. So that's not happening. There's no even split. It's all going to be about sharing the win and who's there. Panel going back to the front. Miller says, nope, not so fast. She's going to take over now as we come through at 312 for 800. 312 for 800 there. Pace is rather pedestrian, but not too bad or too slow. Not too fast either. As you can see, the surges and moves, it's going to be a race about strategy. In the boys' 200 meter dash, in eighth place, Bowens from Wayne. In seventh place, Huffman from Green. In sixth place, Bailey from Raceland. In fifth place, Richendaller from Chesapeake. In fourth place, Jackson from Huntington High. In third place, Hall from Spring Valley. In second place, Staten from Fairland. And in first place, with the time of 22.95 seconds, Stout from Gallia Academy. Uh, three ladies going back and forth. Our two Fairland ladies here and Miller from Rock Hill. She's the lone red woman up here. As I said, this race is going to come down to the strategy and who wants it the most. Not going to be a lot of surprises. No one going for a record time. Still pretty good weather, but at this point, like I said, looking for points. We'll see how this one plays out. Miller, honestly, using great tactics, tucked in behind there. She's taking on zero wind, putting on the same effort, and they're giving her the inside as she's moving right there. She's led a little, but not a lot. Just lurking. We come through there at 6.33, 6.34 pace, roughly for the mile. All right. Let's read so we're over halfway for those front three ladies. Over halfway there. The results of the boys' 300 meter hurdles. In eighth place, Blaine from Gallia Academy. Seventh place, Keeney from Fairland. Sixth place, Harless from Chesapeake. Fifth place, Nida from Chesapeake. Fourth place, Huffman from Green. Third place, Kidd from Rock Hill. Second place, Workman from Colgrove. 
And in first place with the time of 41.39 seconds, Bradshaw from Huntington. Still the same three. 2K down, under three laps to go. Panel going to the front now. Now we might start to see a little bit of strategy here. She had a pretty good head of steam coming off that turn there. Turner from Huntington Hawks. If these ladies can make it to the final two and a half laps, the final K, uh, that's when it'll get real, real interesting. It's when a lot of fatigue starting to set in. You really start to see who has the uh, the aerobic power, or really, you know, just the will to win. Uh, but usually these distance races, you want to see that last 20% of the race really ready to roll. There's a slight gap now that Panel has put on her teammate and Miller there. Not a huge one by any means, but it is far more than it was about 600 meters ago. I believe we left off about the 400 meters, so we'll go from there. In eighth place, Collins from Rock Hill. Seventh place, Webb from, Ra from Raceland. And if I had to bet, I would say that Miller's about to make a move here to the front. She doesn't want to let Panel get too far away from her, so if I had to guess, she's probably about to make a move here to try to get back to the front. The gap's just a little too much for her. Hall hanging out. She's ready to roll there in the middle. Looking pretty smooth. But Miller probably going to make a little bit of move here. So we have two laps to go now. Two laps to go now on this girls' two-mile panel with a slight gap. Nothing too large. Fairland's definitely trying to run for the team points here. And now they're starting to pass lap runners. So if it looks like some of those runners are actually in the top three, they are not. They are being lapped. Your top three are still Panel Hall and Miller. It's pretty much been that way since the gun. Hall in second there. She's not letting her teammate get too far from her. I think Miller attempted a slight move there, but Panel is still continuing to pull away from her. Fifth place, Runyon from Spring Valley. So here we come in now about... 600 meters Third left. Place, Gross from Huntington St. Joe. In second place, Wasps from Gallia Academy. And in first place, with a time of 2 minutes 31 seconds, Hagemeyer from Chesapeake. Still extending her lead here. And the girls' 200 meter dash results. I think at this place, point it almost becomes a race for second. In seventh place, Hale will Miller finally get him from the place, stalking around, or will they be able to hold her off? So it appears to be at this point. Place, However, Urban there is a decent amount of racing in left. Place, from Spring Valley. As we come in here, in place, approaching Jackson, the gun lap, and in first place, one final lap. We have seven down. Turner from Huntington High. So it's panel in the lead at the gun. Hall in second, Miller in third. See if Miller has anything left in the tank here to try to spoil this Dragon 1-2 finish. Under 300 left. At this point, it's all about who wants it more. You see their biomechanics kind of starting to break down, heads going to the side. Stride shortening a little bit. Some swaying of the torso. Mechanics starting to break down. Under 200 here for panel. She starts to round the turn in the very, very dark corner of the stadium. She eyes the finish here at 1230. About 130 meters left for her now. And into the home stretch, a pretty decent little kick there. Just putting on for the crowd. And now our battle for second is heating up. It's Miller and Hall. Miller's going wide, very wide. She's out in the lane, three wide. Panel with the win, Miller in second, Hall in third. Miller and Hall will run about 13 to 13.01 there. 
panel dip just under the 13 minute mark there for the win. So Miller was able to pick off one dragon to avoid the one two sweep there. So McKenna Panel, your Lions Club 3200 meter champion there. The results of the girls 3200 meter run in eighth place Runyon from Colgrove, seventh place Gaffney from Green, sixth place Burns from Chesapeake, in fifth place Simpson from Rock Hill, in fourth place Jeffers from Spring Valley, in third place Hall from Fairland, in second place Miller from Rock Hill, and in first place with a time of 12 minutes 55.94 seconds, Panel from Fairland. I'm here at the girls 32 meter champion McKenna Panel, and she's from Fairland High School. And uh, McKenna, just walk us through that race there. How did you feel out there? It felt really good. Um, in the middle, it started to get more hard with the wind and everything. But then towards the end, it felt a lot better. And everything went well. So you said the wind there. Uh, we noticed there were some lead changes there, a little bit of surging and moving around to the pack. Was that a little bit of the strategy going into it for you, or is that just kind of how it worked out? Yeah, we um, had planned to go into it and switch off the lead that way. Um, one of us could run into the wind and the other one could kind of uh, take it easier behind and we switched off each lap. And we also noticed that uh, after about 2K there, you kind of just went for it. Was that just after 2K, it was just up to you to do that or just, you know, you just felt good so you went for it? Uh, my coach told me to, so I just, I was like, okay, and I felt, I felt okay to do it. And then in the last lap, it started to hurt a little more. Yeah, yeah, I was saying that uh, when you're out there racing, I was like, this, at this point in the race, it comes down to who wants it more, and it hurts a little bit. Uh, so we're going to see any other more events tonight, or are you done? The two mile, there's not much left. I'm the, I'm the anchor in the 4x4 four four also. Oh, she's going to the 3200 and anchor the 4x4. Four four. Oh, what a way to go out. So you'll get to see McKenna one more time anchoring the 4x4, four four, a distance girl anchoring the 4x4. Four four. That's, that's going to be a feat. So go get cooling down and grit. best of luck. Thank you. And we're off here in the boys, 3200. We have James Hallam of Green, Nicholas Streets of Gallia, Ethan LaFon of Fairland, Parker Ball of Raceland, Ethan Lawler of Gallia, Jason Aguilera of Rock Hill, and Bailey Durfield of Green, Matthew Corrier from Colgrove, Lucas Streeter from Huntington, Connor Hoxton of Raceland, Austin Bowen of Spring Valley, Van Nip of Fairland, Marcus Jaime of Chesapeake, Zach Basinback of Wayne, Ethan Miller from Rock Hill, and Nick Ferguson of Chesapeake. They round out your boys' 3,200-meter field. After this, it is the girls' 4x4, four four, first of two sections, up after the boys' 3,200 here. And to the front, we do have Rock Hill and Fairland, just as we did in the 4x8. And we have Spring Valley tucking in there as well. So that is LaFon tucked in behind Aguilera there. I think we had some definite scratches of, from the original sheet here. I, I don't see a couple names that were on the list out on the track. I don't see Nip, I don't see Streeter, and a couple other names. So one lap down here. Seven to go for the boys. Once again, we'll close out with our final event, the 4x4, four four, up after this.
between Aguilar and Lafon. It's a two-man race here in the boys' two mile as they're approaching, starting to lap some athletes. They're moving right along. Once again, these two men are very familiar with each other. They've raced multiple times. So it'll be a race of a little bit of strategy and a lot of heart, just like the girls' race, which had a very similar scenario playing out. The wind has picked up a little bit here. Not too cold, but very windy. So we'll see how this affects these two young men and the rest of the field. In fifth place, Carl of Gallia Academy. In fourth with the boys in the 3200. Aguilar has pulled away from Lafon. Looks like he'll win. I know he's 300 meters out. A lot of things could happen, but he's got a pretty commanding lead here. So he looks to be your winner. He took the gun lap around 9.32 or so there. Looking pretty smooth on the back stretch. About to pick up a win for the Red Men. Who is worthy of the High Point Award? Zagular from Rock Hill. He's coming into the finish here. Let's go ahead and go with the first. Made it look pretty pedestrian at about 1037 there. He's your boys, 3200 meter champion. And in second from Fairland, here's Lafon. He's going to come in at 1048 there. There's your top two and Spring Valley in third here. So as we let these young men finish, we'll get ready for the four by four here. The results of the boys 3,200 meter run. Sheets, eighth place Sheets from Gallia Academy. Seventh place Ferguson from Chesapeake. Sixth place Bowen from Sp Spring Valley. In fifth place, Darafield from Green. In fourth place, Ball from Raceland. In third place, Hallam from Green. In second place, LaFawn from Fairland. And in first place with a time of 10.38.57 seconds, Aguilera from Rock Hill. Section 1 will have Gallia, 2 Ironton, 3 Rock Hill, 4 Huntington, 5 Chesapeake. And they'll make up our first section in our final event here. Third and final call, boys, four by 400 meter relay.
Four by four, and the boys are making their ways down. So we got Heat One or Lane One, Galley Academy. Two, Wayne. Three, Spring Valley. Four, Colgrove. Five, Raceland. Six, we have Fairland. This is the second section of two for the girls, four by four. And after this, we'll have the boys up for the first of two sections to conclude the Lions Club Invitational. First place with a time of 10.38.57. Boys 4x4, four four. it's our final event of the evening. We have Spring Valley in 2, Fairland in 3, Ironton in 4, South Point in 5.
the results of the girls 4x4 in 8th place, Fairland, 7th, Rock Hill, 6th, Chesapeake, 5th, Huntington, 4th, Spring Valley, 3rd, Cole Grove, 2nd, Gallia Academy, and in 1st place with the time of 4 minutes, 45.20 seconds, Wayne. Section two of the four by four for boys. In lane one is Raceland. Lane two is Huntington. In three is Gallia Academy. In four is Rock Hill. Five is Chesapeake. And six is Colgrove. Our final event of the evening for the Chesapeake's Lions Club Invitational. We thank you for tuning in and watching with us tonight for the 51st annual Lions Club Invitational on Armstrong Cable. We surely thank you for viewing. And we'd like to thank Chesapeake for allowing us to come out and do this for us, for them. And we'd like to give a special thanks to the Lions Club as they've been a sponsor of this meet and a longtime supporter of local athletics here. So we're going to sign off and leave you with the final heat of the 4x4 for boys. Thanks for tuning in. In 8th place, Fairland, 7th place, Ironton, 6th, Colgrove, 5th, Gallia Academy, 4th, Raceland, 3rd, Huntington, 2nd, Rock Hill, and in 1st place with a time of 3 minutes, 40.51 seconds, the gentleman from Chesapeake. Here are the results of the meet. First for the girls, in 13th place, South Point with 9 points, in 12th place, Green with 14 points. In 11th place, St. Joe with 24 points. In 10th place, Raceland with 36 points. In 9th place, Wayne with 38 points. 8th place, Chesapeake with 47 points. In 7th place, with 55 points is Rock Hill. In 6th place, Colgrove with 60 points. There was a tie for 4th place between Fairland and Gallia. In 3rd place, 
is Ironton with 67 points. In second place and receiving the runner-up trophy tonight, Huntington High School. And in first place with 91 points, Spring Valley. Spring Valley girls track team, first place. The High Point Award winner for the girls received first place in the 1600 meter run, first place in the 800 meter run, and second place in the long jump, followed by a sixth place finish in the 4x4, and that is Kelsey Hagemeyer from Chesapeake. All right, the boys' results. In 14th place, Tulsa scoring one point. In 13th, Huntington St. Joe with three points. In 12th, Wayne with five points. 11th place, South Point with 5.5 points. In 10th place, Spring Valley with 17 points. Spring Valley actually is going to finish third with 76 points, my apologies. In 9th place, with 24.3 points, Green, 8th, or excuse me, Ironton with 27. Seventh place, Colgrove with 50 points. Sixth place, Fairland with 65 points. In fifth place, we had a tie for fourth place between Raceland and Gallia scoring 68 points apiece. In third place, with 72 points, is Chesapeake. That would now be Spring Valley third place, 76 points. We're in fourth. In second place, scoring 102 points, the boys from Rock Hill. And tonight's champion scoring 129 points, the gentleman from Huntington High School. The boys high point award winner was the 110 meter hurdle champ. He also won the 300 meter hurdles and was a member of the 4x4 team, Des Bradshaw. There's one more trophy, I apologize. There is a combined trophy for the highest scoring school, both boys and girls. And that trophy is going to be awarded to Huntington High School. The trophy is named after J. Jeff Holly, the Memorial Trophy, and it is always awarded to the highest combined girls and boys score. Jeff J. Holly ran track for Fairland in the 1980s and was selected to the OVC track team. Thank you everyone for coming out. Appreciate all your help. We'll see you next time.